Hi everyone! In this video we will simplify a rational expression with opposite factors. Simplify 24y squared minus 51y minus 63. All divided by negative 60y squared plus 156y plus 72. The first thing we want to do is factor both the numerator and the denominator. And the very first thing we always look for is a greatest common factor. The numerator has a greatest common factor between all three terms, which is 3. If we take out a 3, we're left with 8y squared minus 17y minus 21. And in the denominator, all of these terms have a greatest common factor of negative 12. And so we're left with positive 5y squared minus 13 y minus 6. Now we need to factor the numerator and the denominator. Both of these are not in the form of a equals 1, so we need to use the AC method for both of them. The AC method for, or the AC factor for the numerator is 8 times negative 21, which is negative 168. And to find all the factors, we start with 1, 1 and 168. We'll worry about the signs after we get all the factors. It's even, so it'll be divisible by 2, 2 and 84. It's also divisible by 3, 3 and 56. It's also divisible by 4, 4 and 42. It is not divisible by 5, but it is divisible by 6 and 28. Also divisible by 7 and 24 and 8 and 21. Uh, 9 doesn't go in, neither does 10, nor does 11, but 12 will go in. 12 times 14, and 13 doesn't go in, so we've made it to the end because the next number is 14, which takes us up the other side. Now we can go ahead and find the combination that will give us negative 17. This last sign tells us that the signs will be opposite or different from one another, and this says that the larger of the two signs will be negative because the answer is negative 17. So we will make all of these negative and all of these positive and find the combination that will give us negative 17. And it looks like right here, negative 24 plus 7 gives us negative 17. So those are the factors we'll use for the numerator. Let's go ahead and go through the AC method for the denominator. AC for the denominator, and I know I'm going to need a lot of room, so I'm squishing everything in over here. Feel free on your own paper to use as much paper as you need. The AC for the denominator is 5 and 6, or negative 6, so we get negative 30. And we'll find all the factors, starting with 1 and 30, and again, we'll worry about the signs afterwards. 2 and 15. 3 and 10, 5 and 6 are all of the factors for 30. And we'll look at the signs. This says negative, which means that we will have different signs. And it says minus 13, so that the larger of the two will be negative, And the smaller will be positive. And we want to find a combination that will give us negative 13. And it looks like positive 2 minus 15 gives us negative 13. So we can replace the numerator or the middle term in the numerator and the denominator so that we can factor those. Uh, so our next step will come to here. We still have a 3 out front, and we're just replacing the middle term with the two factors that match or will add together to give us our middle term. So we have for our first one positive 7 minus 24, so plus 7y minus 24y, minus 21, and in the denominator we still have the negative 12, and we're replacing the middle term with, um, we have 5y squared, and the middle was plus 2y, minus 15y, and we still have the minus 6. And then we're going to factor by grouping both in the numerator and the denominator. We'll group these two and these two. So in our numerator, the greatest common factor between 8y squared and 7y is y. So we have 
8y plus 7. So this is our next one. We're coming down here. And then the greatest common factor with negative 24y and minus 27 is negative 3, which leaves us with positive 8y and plus 7. So now we have two terms here. And the greatest common factor is the binomial, 8y plus 7. And we're left with y minus 3. And so the numerator is, uh, let's go ahead and rewrite it over here, 3, 8y plus 7, and y minus 3. So it's all in one spot. Now let's go ahead and factor the denominator. We were factoring by grouping, so the com greatest common factor here with 5y squared and 2y, we can take out a y, and we're left with 5y plus 2. And the greatest common factor here with negative 15y minus 6, looks like we can take out a negative 3, which leaves us with positive 5y plus 2. Now we have these two terms, and we have a common um, factor, which is the binomial, 5y plus 2 for both of those. And when we factor it out, we're left with y minus 3. So our whole denominator, don't forget we have this negative 12. Uh, the denominator is negative 12, 5y plus 2, and y minus 3. Now that I have this all factored out, I can... Uh, cancel out all of the factors that are in common. y minus 3 divided by y minus 3 cancels. And both 3 and 12 can be divided by 3, which gives me 1, and negative 4. And the negative in a rational expression either goes on the numerator or it can go out in front of the division sign. I'm going to go ahead and move it to the numerator so that I have negative, and negative times 1 is just a negative 1, times our uh, binomial just is our binomial, so we'll leave it as 8y plus 7. And in the denominator, we still have the 4, and we have this binomial 5y plus 2, and we're all done. We have now simplified this rational expression all the way down to this much smaller rational expression, and we're all done.